Despite existing in one of America's snowiest cities, Syracuse University has only canceled class a handful of times in the school's history due to snow. And who keeps the promenade clean in the midst of the upstate New York winter? Citrus TV reporter Connor Wright has the story. For years, Syracuse, New York has been one of the snowiest cities in the United States, and the University on the Hill isn't immune to the snowfall. The job of the physical plant is to ensure this snow doesn't inhibit SU. But their biggest concern isn't with the snow, but the slippery stuff underneath. Our biggest issue is ice, when ice builds up. So when, we, uh, when it snows and we salt and we plow and then the salt melts the snow and then overnight it freezes or during the day it freezes and um, turns to ice, that's, uh, that's where our biggest issues are. So like it or not, it's equipment like this that are going to keep the class clear for your 8 a.m. But there is a limit. How much snow is going to close the school? We receive anything more than 12 inches of snow in a 12-hour period. That seems to be our, our cutoff. If you went home over the Thanksgiving and spring breaks, you didn't notice any school threatening snowfall. Many would have assumed that this was a light winter for snowy Syracuse. However, more snow hit CNY than you may have thought. Central New York averages about 120 inches a year. Um, and people believe, thought, you know, you know, their, their view of this year was sort of a light winter, but we still have used 134 inches of snow. With all that snow, the physical plant faces a demanding job. Students are split on whether or not they handle the task well. No, they do not. For this to be the snowiest city um, in the nation, um, I definitely think that there could be a very like stronger job. I actually think they do a really great job. Like honestly, they don't do a very good job on South Campus. So when we leave sometimes, I'm like, how on earth am I gonna get to class? But it's pretty good. <laughs> Either way, the physical plant boasts a large inventory of equipment. So whether it's designed to clear snow and ice or cut the lawn, the Syracuse physical plant has the tools to do the job. Connor White, Citrus TV News.